morning, children. Our topic for Health 4 is all about characteristics of communicable diseases. Again, characteristics of communicable diseases. With a learning target, describes communicable diseases. Are you ready? Let's begin! Communicable diseases spread from one person to another or from an animal, like a dog, to a person. The spread often happens via airborne viruses or bacteria, but also through blood or other bodily fluids. The terms infectious and contagious are also used to describe communicable diseases. These diseases are spread through respiratory, gastrointestinal, dermatologic, and bloodborne. Agents of communicable diseases Infectious agents come in many shapes and sizes. Bacteria and protozoa are microscopic one-celled organisms, while viruses are even smaller. Fungi grow like plants on the other hand. Anyone can be sick, young or adult. The challenge is how to keep yourself away from these disease agents. These are some of the agents of communicable diseases. Number 1. Viruses Viruses are the disease-causing agents that most people are familiar with, especially nowadays. They can cause colds, flu, HIV, meningitis, polio, chicken pox, rabies, dengue, and a number of other diseases. Viruses themselves are not living things, but they do get transmitted between living organisms. Viruses can often be controlled by vaccine. This allows your body to build up that immune response before you ever get the virus. So that instead of getting sick first, you already have your army ready to fight ahead of time. Second is the bacteria. Some bad bacteria can be quite dangerous. In contrast to viruses, bacteria are living organisms but they're usually made up of just one cell. Bacteria are especially hard to control because they can multiply into colonies of millions and billions of organisms in a very short amount of time. However, bacteria can cause infections and diseases. Some diseases like pneumonia, boil, sty, tuberculosis, strep throat, and many intestinal conditions are caused by bacteria. Antibiotics are used to treat diseases caused by bacteria because they are medications that kill bacterial infections. Third is the protozoa. Protozoa are also small, unicellular organisms. They can live in all different types of environments and are able to move around really well. They are parasitic which means that they live and feed off of a host organism. Parasitic worms include roundworms, tapeworms, and hookworms. Fourth is the fungi. Fungal diseases are often caused by fungi that are common in the environment. Fungi live outdoors in soil and on plants and trees as well as on many indoor surfaces and on human skin. Most fungi are not dangerous, but some types can also be harmful to health. These include ringworm, athlete's foot, and Tenea flava or an ant. For your activity entitled Health Inspector, prepare the materials, paper and pen. Your procedure, number one, recall your daily hygienic practice at home or in school. Number two, 
interview and inspect your family member about their hygienic practices. Number three, write in the corresponding boxes how often they perform the hygienic practices. Number four, compare each other's hygienic practice and give more recommendations for better hygienic practice. Fill out this table for the first row. Name of your family member. Second, how often they cut their fingernails once or twice a week. Third, how they often washing their hands before and after eating. Fourth, how often they washing their hands after having gone to the restroom. Next, how often they wash their hands after sneezing or coughing. And lastly, their marks or the result. Is it clean or unclean? Afterwards, you need to infer what will happen if you do not practice proper hygiene. Give more ways on how to avoid communicable diseases. Thank you for listening. Keep safe always and stay at home. Goodbye!